This channel is sponsored by patrons like you. Thank you for your support. Hello, I'm Tarniko, and I'm going to show you how to install a Japanese keyboard on an Android device. To start, open the Google Play Store. In the Google Play Store, search for the term Japanese keyboard. Out of the list of applications, pick Google Japanese Input. Press Install. After installing, select Open. Tap Enable Settings. Tap on Google Japanese Input. Tap on Select Input Method. Tap on Google Japanese Input. You can choose to accept or not accept usage statistics. Swipe from right to left. Press on the blue arrow. Then swipe from right to left again. Tap on Get Started. This is the Google Japanese input settings. Set these to your own preferences, but I'm going to share my personal preferences. Select Keyboard Layout. Here we have 12 keys, QWERTY and Gordon. 12 keys in Gordon have steep learning curves, so select QWERTY. Press the back button in the top left. Tap on Theme. I like a dark, high contrast theme. Pick one that you like and then tap on Apply. Tap on the back button. Tap on Conversion. Tap on Select Emoji Provider. Select the emoji provider of your choice. Now to demonstrate how this keyboard works. Please note that this keyboard will not translate your language to Japanese. The button on the bottom left of the keyboard will let you switch between Romaji and Kana. In Kana mode, you can type in Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. By default, it's in Hiragana. To type in katakana, type out the word you want, and then press spacebar to cycle through your options. You can also select the word you want in the options above the keyboard. Typing anything in kanji will require the same method of entering the word you want, then pressing space or selecting it in the options above the keyboard. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and become a bell ringer. Ja, matine.